guys welcome back to my channel I'm back with another empties video for you today I feel like it hasn't been that long since I did my last one but I just seem to have been accumulating empty products I think it's partly because um, one of my like news resolutions was to use stuff up rather than kind of storing loads of stuff and buying new stuff so I think I am trying to make like a more conscious effort to use things that I've already got um, but yeah it's just got to the point where I've got quite a big pile of stuff and I thought the best thing to do would just be to make another video and show you what I've been finishing up. Um, I really like empties videos because I think it gives a person a chance to give like a really like detailed sort of opinion of what they think of a product you know they've used the whole thing up they've had a good chance to like really try it and see what it's like and so they can give quite a good review of it i mean i do still love the whole like new in first impressions type videos um but with the empties ones i think they just give yeah you just get a really good idea of sort of what a person thinks of a product so i have a whole load of stuff down here um all sorts of things from hair care body skincare type stuff um facial skincare uh, lip products, mouthwash, there's a whole range of stuff I've literally just been keeping everything so I'm just going to pick a thing up and tell you what I think of it and I'll try and get through it reasonably quickly but if you know me I am known for rambling a bit so you might want to grab yourself a cup of tea and yeah sit back and just enjoy hopefully listening to some of the products that I've been using recently. So my first empty product is the Garnier Body Body Tonic Firming Hydrat Hydrating Lotion um, and this is for normal skin, it's fast absorbing and it's a body moisturiser basically. It comes in this really like brightly coloured um, packaging which I really liked. Um, what does it smell like? It's got a sort of... Um, can't think of like what the actual smell is it's very like fresh I love this like especially in the summer because it just I don't know it just smells really like summery and fresh and nice and it's really like cooling on your skin um on the back it just says day after day your skin can become dehydrated and loses its firmness and elasticity Garnier takes care of you with body tonic firming hydrating lotion hydrates and tones day after day um and yeah, I mean, I've been using this, well, for the whole pot, it's, it's lasted me ages. Um, and I just really enjoy using it. It's not expensive, it's a Garnier product, so it's re like reasonably cheap. And I've just found it really not like a really nice moisturiser, especially like once you've had a bath or a shower, pop popping this on, it leaves your skin feeling really like soft and smooth. It soaks in really quickly and you don't get left with any kind of like sticky residue which I absolutely hate when that happens and yeah it just smells really nice as well so I would definitely be recommending giving this one a try if you're looking for a new body moisturiser. Next up is a skincare product and it is another Garnier product actually it's the Garnier Skin Active Pure Active Sensitive Anti-Blemish Clarifying Tonic um, but it's like a, I don't even know if it says it on here, it says tightens pores and soothes skin and it's for sensitive skin with imperfections so it's a toner but it's like a kind of gel consistency and I've actually realised that there's quite a bit in the bottom that I didn't realise was there so I might have to finish that um, but it is pretty much finished um, but yeah I saw it just when I was looking for a new toner and I thought it sounded quite interesting um, I hadn't really like tried a gel toner before and I don't know whether I'm like won over by it. It wasn't, I didn't dislike it. Um, it made my skin feel nice. It didn't kind of make it feel tight or itchy or anything like that. It was nice and cooling on my skin. I'm just not sure that I like this sort of gel-like consistency for a toner. Um, I've always been used to having toners that you either like spray on or that are sort of a liquid and you can just sweep on. Whereas this, you kind of put a bit on your cotton wool pads and because it's a gel, it kind of, I found it just like didn't, it wasn't as easy to get onto my face. So I put some on the cotton wool pad and then I tried starting to put it on my face and like it would like drop off a bit and I don't know, it just, I don't think it was for me. I probably won't be repurchasing it, but um, I'm pretty sure Garnier do other toners that are not gel. Um, so I'd be quite happy to try them. I'm just not a massive fan of like this consistency, I don't think. 
Okay, next up is actually just a little like tester pot from Lush. Um, basically when you buy stuff from Lush, especially, well, online, I usually buy stuff online, but even if you buy it in store, um, they will sometimes send you like little samples of things to try. And one of the things that I was sent was the Sleepy Shower Gel. Um, obviously you don't get a huge amount, so I can only comment on what I used. Um, but from what I used, I really, really liked it. It came and it was like this bright sort of purple colour. Um, it looked pretty cool. Uh, yeah, pretty cool, the, the colouring and everything of it. I actually used it in the bath rather than the shower. Um, and it did make like a fair few bubbles, not probably as much as some of their other sort of like specific bath products, but for me it worked. And you, I think the idea is that you have it before bed and it's meant to help you feel sleepy and go to sleep. And I mean, it smells, it's like very like lavendery and calming and I really liked it. I just, it made me feel relaxed. It made me feel chilled out and just ready to like snuggle up in bed and fall asleep. So the Sleepy Shower Gel from Lush is definitely one that I think I will be like repurchasing a full size product. Next product that I have recently finished up is a hair oil. And I only really started using hair oils the last, I don't know, like couple of years. It was when I, when I started going to the hairdressers and they started putting hair oil in my hair um, and I really liked it. So I thought I would buy, I think I've ended up buying a few different products, but this is the one that I've kind of finished up first. So it's the Pantene Pro V dry oil with argan oil and it's for smooth and sleek skin and it has a 24 hour lightweight smoothness and up until like yeah up until I started using the hair oils at the hairdressers I didn't really know how to use them so basically all I've done now is when I've like washed my hair I get out of the bath or the shower um, and then pump like a couple of pumps into my hand and then like rub them together and just pull it through like one side of my hair and then I do another couple of pumps and then pull it through the other side and I don't know I think I think it makes my hair feel and look nicer it smells nice um I mean this one was for smooth and sleek skin, uh, hair and it does did seem to sort of like smooth it down because sometimes I get a bit like my hair gets a bit frizzy and kind of fly away and this did seem to help. Um, I have also, I'm now trying one which is more for like repair and strengthening which I think my hair really needs at the moment. Um, but yeah, certainly this one I really enjoyed using and I kind of would notice if I forgot to use it, I would notice my hair sort of felt or looked a bit different. Um, so now I don't think I could be without a hair oil after my bath and this one um, is definitely one that I would be quite happy to use again. So my next product I think was possibly like a tester product or something that I got in a gift set because it's quite a little um, bottle but it is the Aromatherapy Associates Hydrating Renewing Rose Cleanser. Um, as I said I don't think it's something that I kind of would have gone and bought on its own. I think possibly I bought some bits online from their shop and then they either did like a free little gift set or it was like a gift with purchase or something. I'm not quite sure because um, I have a few like different Aromatherapy Associates little bottles. Um, but yeah, the Renew Renewing Rose Cleanser I've really, really enjoyed using. You only need like a small amount. So actually this little bottle last lasted me like a fair few, like, what do you call it? A fair few goes. Um, but yeah, it just felt really nice on my skin. I love the smell of rose anyway. Um, and this one, I mean, it's quite a subtle scent. It's not sort of like too in your face, which I think is quite nice because sometimes like aromatherapy stuff especially can be very like strong and overpowering. But this was, yeah, nice and like subtle. It's like a creamy consistency cleanser. Um, and I just really enjoyed like I didn't use it every day but like more on sort of like special occasions or like you know a couple of times a week when I was having a bit more of a pampering session um, and you just pop a little bit of cream on and then I just really enjoyed like rubbing it into my face and letting it just sit there for a few minutes because you can kind of smell the rose um, as it's sitting on your face and then just washing it off with some warm water and just chucked it on the floor. Um, 
and yeah I don't know it just made my skin feel really nice it felt quite luxurious and yeah I would definitely be happy to like use that again I'm guessing it's quite an expensive cleanser compared to sort of like the drugstore type ones but if I was ever going to treat myself this is definitely something that I would consider. So this next product is a firm favourite of mine. I've been through several bottles of this now and it's the, always the one that I go back for. It is the Simple Sensitive Skin Experts Kind to Skin Eye Makeup Remover um, and it removes waterproof mascara as well. Um, I mean I don't wear eye makeup like that often um, but when I do I want to make sure I've got something gentle but that works to take it off and I've tried a few different eye makeup removers and they just all seem to really irritate my eyes I'll sort of start taking it off and I'll literally be crying because it's so painful on my eyes and this simple one is the only one that has never done that um, and it actually works with getting the mascara off um, and it's cheap you know it's like it was only a few pounds I think and yeah, if I can find something that's not too expensive that, that works and doesn't like burn my eyes out then it's just something that I'm happy to go back to again and again. Um, so yeah, I finished this bottle and before I even finished this bottle I went and bought another one because I just, I can't be without it. So if you have like quite sensitive eyes and you're looking for a, a like makeup remover that will take your eye makeup off, I would definitely recommend giving Simple a try because it works for me, it's, I always go back to it and you know it's only a few pounds so if you really don't like it it's not like you've spent like loads and wasted that so yeah I would definitely recommend giving it a try. <laughs> Next up is a hand and body lotion. I put like hand cream or something on my hands every night before I go to bed. Um, I never used to and then I started doing it and wondered why I hadn't been doing it for longer because I I really suffer from dry hands and I notice the difference if I haven't used a hand cream the night before. Um, and sometimes, well, when the weather's really bad, I use the um, O'Keefe's Working Hands one because that's just amazing. But during the like summer months where my hands aren't getting quite so like battered by the winter, um, I tend to just use whatever I've got. So I've been using this one, which is a Bayless and Harding wild rose and raspberry leaf hand and body lotion um again i think i must have got this in a gift set or something for like christmas or birthday um it smells nice i'm just trying to remember what it smells like it's a very it is a very like floral kind of scent but then it is wild rose and raspberry leaf so what do you expect um it was a nice moisturizer but it's quite thin um if that makes any sense like when it comes out it's more of like a watery consistency um, and I found I didn't need much because I think because of that consistency it just kind of spreads everywhere um, so it would often take quite a lot of time to actually like get it to sink in um, I suppose because I'm used to the O'Keefe's one which is very very like solid consistency um, this one I think I don't know it was just a little bit too watery for me um, and it didn't moisturize my hands amazingly like it smelled nice and maybe it would be okay to like have in your handbag and just kind of top up through the day but for sort of a more overnight more like intensive hand moisturization for me it probably isn't something that I would go for again um, over some of the other products that I've tried. The next product that I've finished is a very exciting addition um, to this, not haul, empties video um, and it's some mouthwash. It is the Colgate Plax Gentle Care Zero Alcohol um, Mouthwash. I have been using mouthwash for quite a while now um, mainly because I use inhalers and um, it's really important to wash your mouth out properly after an inhaler because they can cause problems if you don't but also because I find that using a mouthwash just makes my mouth feel a lot fresher and I wouldn't say that I'm like massively loyal to a particular mouthwash I've used a few and quite often I'll just look at like what's on offer or you know what would be suitable for me but more re like recently I've bought this one quite a few times and I really like it 
Um, I tend to go for zero alcohol, mainly because I'm not a massive fan of the taste of the ones that have alcohol in them. They can be quite strong. Um, whereas this one is a lot like gentler. It's still got a nice like minty taste. I don't know whether it tells you actually what type of mint it is. I don't think it does. Um, yeah, it's still got quite a nice like minty taste, but it's not like overwhelmingly strong. Um, and yeah, I don't really know what else to say about a mouthwash, but you know, I'm quite happy with this one and would be quite happy, well, I've already bought some more for it to use. Um, they're quite often like on offer if you look in um, Boots or Superdrug or Tesco's. Um, so I do tend to wait and see like when they're doing like a, not necessarily, I don't think it's a two for one, but two for like a certain price. Um, and yeah, I'm quite happy to be using this one for now. Um, not saying that I will stay loyal to it, you know, but it's definitely one that I'm I'm enjoying using at the moment. Next up is another little sample that I got, I think, when I bought another product from Molten Brown. Um, so yeah, I think I must have brought, I don't know what I bought from Molten Brown, a gift for somebody or something. Um, and they were giving out these little um, nourishing body lotions in Ylang Ylang, is that how you say it? Um, so it was like a purpley colour and um, yeah, I mean I love Molten Brown and Molten Brown minis are just even cuter. Um, it's quite an interesting scent, you know, I don't even know how you would describe it, but it's not a particularly strong, overwhelming scent, it's quite a delicate scent. Um, and obviously, you know, I didn't have a huge tub to use, but from what I did use, um, I really enjoyed using it. I kind of expected that I would anyway, because any Molten Brown products that I've tried, I've really liked. Um, and this was definitely like no exception. Um, the moisturiser wasn't too, it wasn't too thick, it wasn't too watery, it was kind of just about right. Um, it sunk in really easily to my skin didn't leave a sticky like residue or anything like that afterwards and also I found you could like once it had got like been, been moisturised in you could still smell it um not to the point where it was like overpowering or anything but you were just I was just aware that I could still smell it whereas with a lot of moisturisers you kind of rub it in and then that's it and the scent's gone um whereas with this one it did seem to like linger a bit more which was quite nice um but yeah no I really enjoyed using it and it's not a fragrance that I would necessarily like go for, um, you know, just by like looking. But now that I've tried it out, like in this little tester, it's probably one that I would like investigate more, like more of their products and stuff. Um, because yeah, I really liked it. Next up is another firm favourite of mine, and this is the Aussie Three Minute Miracle Shine Deep Treatment. Um, I've used various Aussie products over the years, and like them all um they're not the like cheapest of hair products but they're not the most expensive either they're kind of in the middle and they often have offers on them which is usually when i end up buying them um but yeah i particularly like these like three minute miracle treatments because you just pop it in your hair for three minutes take it out and then your hair just feels so nice and they smell they just smell amazing like i don't know I don't even know how to describe it, it's just, it smells, I mean this one says it's got Australian ginseng extract and pearl powder, um, I don't know, it just smells really yummy and it feels nice on your like hair, it's quite thick so you don't need a huge amount, um, but it certainly helps to like perk my hair up if it's been a bit like dull or just not looking very nice. I mean it says that this is a super shine, uh, shine super boost um, and it helps revitalise dull hair and adds gloss to each strand. So yeah and I really enjoy, I really enjoy wearing it and I kind of not wearing it, using it and I can definitely tell like after I've used it my hair just feels a bit more like it's got life in it and it's a bit more shiny and it just doesn't look quite so dull and horrible and boring. So yeah, I have loved using this and would be quite happy to buy this one again or you know anything else in the range because I know they do a few different three minute miracle ones depending on what you 
need for your hair um, and I'd be really interested to try some more because yeah I love this. Another product that I've really enjoyed using and it was actually my first time using it is the Dr. Pore Pore Original Balm Multi-Purpose Soothing Balm with Natural Pore Pore whatever that is. It says it's for lips, skin, cuticles and beauty finishing and it's fragrance free. Um, I use this for a range of things. Um, I used it to begin with I decided to use it because I had like a, quite a sore nose. I think this was like back in when the weather was a bit colder and nothing was really working like nothing I had put on my nose was really working so I thought I'd just pop some of this on at night and I did it for a few nights and it just made a massive difference um it seemed to heal a lot more quickly and yeah it really worked I've also used it on my lips if my lips have been really sore um if I've had any kind of like sore skin anywhere I've popped a little bit on there and it just seems to be a bit like a magic cream that you can use for anything and that it will kind of sort out any kind of problems or that's what I've found anyway so far so yeah I mean this was only 10 mil 10 mils and it lasted a fair amount of time but there's none left now and I feel like I'd like to buy some more maybe not so much for the summer but certainly when the winter starts coming around again it just it just was a lifesaver so I think I'm gonna to have to buy another tube so that I've got it kind of in my drawer just in case I need some magic cream. Okay the next one is another sample from Lush. Um, I do love a Lush sample because it just means you get to try something out you know a few like a few tries before you go and spend money on the actual thing um, and this one is the Lush Vanishing Cream Moisturiser. Um, it's a facial moisturiser and it's meant to kind of help vanish imperfections and stuff like that. Um, I, I think it says it's cocoa butter free and it's just a really nice light moisturiser. It's got a really sort of relaxing, I don't know whether it's lavender or chamomile or something but it's just very like delicate relaxing fragrance and I really enjoyed using this as a moisturiser, um, you didn't need much, it kind of went a long way, it absorbed really quickly, didn't leave any kind of like residue or anything like that, um, so yeah it would be perfect for like if you wanted to put it under your makeup or something because it just, it just absorbed and went away. Um, and it just left my skin feeling really nice, it was actually really nice to use in the evening because of the sort of lavendery smell, um, you'd sort of pop it on your face and it just felt like a really nice step in a kind of bedtime routine. Um, I don't think it's the cheapest moisturiser, I know it's around about, I think it's around about the £20 mark, um, but if you were looking to kind of treat yourself or to have something slightly more expensive, um, I think it's something that I would be definitely happy to invest in and to try again. I've then got another product that also seems to have had some in the bottom, I think it's because I've left them sitting there for a while and really and like some of the product has kind of accumulated in the bottom so I've got a couple of bits that I need to use up but this one is the Herbal Essence Volume White Grapefruit and Mosa Mint Shampoo um, and yeah I hadn't used Herbal Essences for quite a while and thought I would give it a try and this one it's got a really nice sort of is it citrusy? I suppose like grapefruit, is, is grapefruit citrus? I think it is. Um, yeah it's got quite a sort of like citrusy fresh um, like summery smell and yeah I really enjoyed using it. It was a nice shampoo, it left my hair feeling good, it didn't, I find that some shampoos and conditioners can really like weigh my hair down because it's quite fine um, but this one didn't, it left it with a good scent in it and it kind of left it feeling quite nice. <laughs> um, volume is a thing that I really struggle with because my hair is very very fine and flat um, but it did seem to kind of like perk it up a little bit. Um, it also says that it's got 0% colorants, gluten or silicones in it um, and just seeing if it says anything on the back it says it's got an essential antioxidant which helps purify and protect against what your hair gets used to over time. Um, 
it's free from silicones, pH balanced and safe for colour treated hair which is always important for me because I do colour my hair um, and yeah it's kind of made me want to try some of the other herbal essences range now because I used to use herbal essences all the time and then I stopped for some reason and hadn't used them for ages so now that I've kind of tried this one and enjoyed using it I kind of feel like I'd quite like to try some of the others because they just all smell so good um, and yeah I've actually got a little bit left in the bottom there which I can probably use in my next couple of hair washes so this next product I'm not sure that it's actually available anymore because I got it for quite a long time ago and it has lasted me ages it is the Lush Dreamtime Temple Balm um, it says it's a <laughs> I can't say this word soporifically soporifically scented balm with lavender and chamomile for a deep and restful sleep I don't know whether their sleepy range has taken over from this or whether this was just like a limited edition or something I don't know but anyway it's a balm and you pop a little bit on and I'd been putting it on my temples and a little bit on like the points on my wrists before I went to bed and it just for me it seemed to help me relax if I was feeling a bit anxious or anything before bed just kind of breathing it in and, no, and sort of being able to smell it as I went to sleep just seemed to help me yeah to relax a bit and to chill out and I mean I can still smell it now it's quite it smells quite strong in the pot but then you're only putting like a tiny bit on your temples and your pressure points so you don't actually get that like really really strong scent um but I noticed like if I didn't put this on that I wouldn't sleep as well um which is proving slightly difficult now because I've got none of this left I have got another sleep balm um uh, I'm just kind of seeing whether that one works as well um, but yeah I really really enjoyed this one and I'm sad that they don't really do it anymore so my second to last product is I think another like sample or from a gift set or something um, and it is the Espar Optimal Skin Pro Cleanser um, whenever I think about Espar I always think of you know like high-end spa treatments and really like luxurious and relaxing spas and things like that and this definitely kind of brings that those thoughts like with it because it's got that I don't know how you describe it it's just it's got that spa smell I, I if, you, if you've been to a spa you'll know what I mean I think um but I particularly like this because it's got like little beads they're not micro beads or anything they're like I'll read what it says actually it's probably easier um, it says this multifunctional gel cleanser uh, sorry gel cleanser exfoliator and mask will leave your skin feeling beautifully clean nourished and visibly radiant use daily smoothing a small amount over your face neck and decollete working in small circular movements until they the oh, I never know how to say this jojoba jojoba spheres spheres melt so they're like little spheres that have got this like I don't know how you say that word jojoba or jojoba or something like that um they've got that in it so when you start rubbing it in they melt basically and release that into your skin as well and it's just it's a really nice experience putting it on and kind of I don't know you because it makes you like rub it in for a bit longer it really does feel like a sort of a more luxurious treat for your face rather than just popping on a quick cleanser and rub, like washing it off you're actually having to sit there and like rub it in and smell the product and just take a few minutes to relax um, so yeah I was really upset when I finished it because I really really enjoyed using it um, again it's not going to be a particularly cheap option but if you're looking to treat yourself or you're asking for gifts or anything I would definitely recommend it and I think I'll probably be putting it on my next like birthday or Christmas list because I just I'd quite like some more to use Right, and then my last empty for you today is another hair product. It is the VO5 Nourish My Shine Bedazzling Oil Heat Protector. 
it says it adds intense shine and conditions for easier blow drying um, and it's a heat defense spray so basically when you buy this i think it's I, this is possibly my second tire bottle because i think i've used it before but yeah when you buy it it comes and it's like separated into two different bits so i think you must have like the oil and then the rest of the product so before you use it you kind of just shake it up and then i just once i've washed my hair and i'm out of the bath or shower or whatever um i then give it like a spritz in my hair um and it helps like defend against the heat from your hair dryer um but it also does seem to just make my hair feel a bit more like shiny and bedazzling um and it smells nice and I just yeah I really like using it after washing my hair because it just seems to help with the blow drying and just makes it look a bit nicer um so it says yeah it adds instant shine lightweight formula that vanishes into the hair hair becomes soft silky and gorgeous it makes blow drying easier and helps to defend against heat damage um and yeah I've bought another bottle because I enjoyed using it so much it's not too expensive and it seems to do the job and make my hair feel nice as well so that brings us to the end of my rather epic empties video for you today I hope you've enjoyed seeing some of the products that I've been using and hearing what I think of them um, I hope you've enjoyed the video as well and if you have and you want to see more please do give me a like and subscribe to my channel and yeah I'd really love to hear your comments as well have you tried any of these products and if so what are your thoughts about them can you recommend any products for me to try that you think I might like and also if there's any videos you would like to see me do um, about anything at all health mental health lifestyle beauty fashion or whatever else comes to mind please leave me um, a comment in the comments bar with any video suggestions because I always like to hear what you guys would like to see as well and it helps me as well because sometimes I draw a bit of a blank when I'm trying to think what to film um, so yeah I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in another video very soon. Bye!